ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಸದಾಶಿವ ಸಮಾರಂಭಾಂ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮಾಂ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತಾಂ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾಂ ಶ್ರುತಿಸ್ಮೃತಿಪುರಾಣ ಆಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವಂಬಾದರಾಜಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯಕೃತ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತೌ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನೇ ವ್ಯೋಮವ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇಹಾ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಋಕಾರಸ್ವಂಧಕಾರೋ ವೈ ಋಕಾರಸ್ತನ್ನಿವರ್ತಕ ಅಂಧಕಾರ ನಿರೋಧಿತ್ವಾತ್ಗುರುರಿತ್ಯಭಿಧೀಯತೆ ಓಂ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೋ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರವಾಬಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಧೀ ತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾ ವಿದ್ವಿಷಾಬಹೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಓಂ ಭದ್ರಂಗರ್ಣೇ ವಿಶ್ವನುಯಾಮ ದೇವಾ ಭದ್ರಂ ಪಶ್ಯೆ ಮಾಕ್ಷವಿರ್ಯಚತ್ರ ಸ್ಥಿರೈರಂಗೈ ಸ್ತುಷ್ಟು ವಾಗುಂಸಸ್ತನೂಭಿ ವಿಷೇಮ ದೇವಹಿ ತಂಜದಾಯು ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನಗಿಂದ್ರೋ ವೃದ್ಧಶ್ರವಾ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನ ಪೂಷಾ ವಿಶ್ವೇದ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನಸ್ತಾರಕ್ಷ್ಯೋ ಅರಿಷ್ಟೇಮಿ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನೋ ಬೃಹಸ್ಪತಿರ್ದಾತು ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯ ಕರ್ತೃಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞಾಂಶು ಪ್ರಧಾನೈ ಸ್ಥಿರತಿರಾನಿಕರ ವ್ಯಾಪಿಭಿರ್ವ್ಯಾಪ್ಯ ಲೋಕಾನ್ ಭುಕ್ತ ಭೋಗಾನ್ ಸ್ತವಿಷ್ಠಾನ್ ಪುನರಿ ದೃಶಣೋದ್ಭಾಸಿತಾನ್ ಕಾಮಜನ್ಯಾನ್ ಪೀತ್ವಾ ಸರ್ವಾನ್ ವಿಶೇಷಾನ್ ಸ್ವಿತಿ ಮಧುರಭುಂ ಮಾಯ ಭೋಜಯನ್ ನಃ ಮಾಯಾ ಸಂಖ್ಯಾ ತುರೀಯಂ ಪರಮೃತಮಜ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಯತ್ತನ್ನತೋಸ್ಮಿ ಪ್ರಣವಂ ಹಿ ಈಶ್ವರಂ ವಿದ್ಯಾತ್ ಸರ್ವಸ್ಯ ಹೃದಯ ಸ್ಥಿತಂ ಸರ್ವ್ಯಾಪಿ ನಮಂಕಾರಂ ಮತ್ವಾ ಧೀರೋ ನ ಸೋಚತಿ ಅಮಾತ್ರೋ ನಂತಮಾತ್ರಶ್ಚೈತ ಪ್ರಥಮ ಶಿವ ಓಂಕಾರೋ ವಿಧಿತೋ ಯೇನ ಸಮುನಿರ್ನೇತರೋ ಜನ ಪ್ರಣವಂ ಹಿ ಈಶ್ವರಂ ವಿದ್ಯಾತ್ ಸರ್ವಸ್ಯ ಹೃದಯ ಸ್ಥಿತ ಪ್ರಣವಂ ಈಶ್ವರಂ ವಿದ್ಯಾತ್ ಸರ್ವ್ಯಾಪಿ ಓಂಕಾರ ಮತ್ವಾ ಧೀರ ನ ಸೋಚತಿ ದಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಕರಣ ವಿಚ್ ಹಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಟಿನ್ ಆಸ್ ದಿ ಆಗಮ ಪ್ರಕರಣ is coming to an end with the primary focus that was on the pranava as elucidated by the mandukya shruti vakyas the shruti vakyas presented the human experience in the form of three states of experience considering both the vyashti and samashti together and presented the experience in totality to be nothing but omkara so this whole worldly experience across wake and dream and deep sleep was wrapped in the omkara so we showed omkara as samashti including the karana the karana sakaranam brahma in the form of avyakta which is the deep sleep state including the cause the entire effect has been shown as the pranava and what is ishwara ishwara also is the samashti only in terms of all 
orders in terms of all the material that make it all the diverse manifestations in the form of your total experience whether it are it is the galaxies and from the outer limit to the innermost subatomic aspects everything is non separate from the sturiya which is omkara therefore is ishvara so the ishvara is saguna ishvara here because the moment we say pranavam it includes all the attributes and the glorious manifestations that is available to you for an, as an experience therefore pranavam hi hi asmat pranavam ishwaram viti vidyat it is this pranava which is ishwara the saguna brahma vastu and it is also what is sarvasya hridaye sthitam para brahma vastu because it is available the upalabdhi sthana where is it available to you in the buddhi guha guhayam vasantam so it is the hridaya guha in which it is available at the same time it is sarva vyapinam omkaram so the turiya is hridaya sthitam sarva vyapinam omkaram is in the form of vishvatejasa matva dhiraha na shochati once that is cognized then there is no cause for the fear because it has covered all that is you so all the experiences that you are seeing is covered under ishvara pranava and that being non separate from you is covered because it is hridaye sthitam sarva vyapinam so what is you is what is there outside as the outside and inside what is perceived is pervaded fully by this hridaye sthitam brahma vastu once that is recognized therefore this matva means nyatva once the cognition of this fact takes place there is no scope for shoka because shoka comes from only things which are not you okay or if there is a self judgment assumption about oneself is there then there can be a shoka but here there is clear knowledge that i am that sadvastu there is nothing other than the sadvastu it pervades everything nothing is away from it all the perceived things are in content nothing but the swarupa therefore na sochati there is no shoka there is no emotion there is no shoka there is no moha there is no like moda pramoda and all that also it is all para ananda swarupa which is swarupa ananda so in the next verse it is said amatro ananta matrascha dvaitasyopashama shivah ओंकारो विदितो येन समुनिर्नेतरो जनः अमात्रः वी ऑलरेडी सा व्हाट इज अमात्र द फोर्थ पादा इन द केस ऑफ ओंकारा व्हिच इज तुरिया इज इज द अमात्रः व्हिच इज ब्रह्म ओनली वी ऑलरेडी सा इट इज नॉट साइलेंस इट इज ब्रह्म वी सा दैट व्हाट इज तुरिया इन द केस ऑफ द अवस्था in the avasthas not avastha traya because it is the fourth avastha as though it was told that's why it is called turiya only three avasthas are there the fourth pada is not the three avastha but which is the content of all the avastha which is brahma vastu it is the same brahma vastu which is amatraha content of omkara the omkara which is abhidana is rooted on the brahma vastu atma vastu the abhideya also is rooted on the atma vastu so we already saw that the amatra is turiya only therefore bhashyakara here gives amatra turiya omkara they are both same 
So it's not silence, it is Brahma Vastu, Amatraha, Turiyaha, Omkaraha. Why is it Amatraha? Because Miyate Anayayiti Matra. Parichittihi Sa Anantaha Yasya Saha Ananta Matraha. Na Matra Asya Asti. Therefore that also is Amatraha. So Matra is explained here as Miyate Anayada by which everything is measured. Is matra. Parichitthi. The one that is delineating or limiting anything is matra. Sa ananta is so there are many delimiting when it comes to Brahma. If you want to measure, how does you delimit or delineate? If you have to delineate by padarthaha. Dravya guna kriya vastu. All these, uh, the Saptapadartha that Nayayika speak about, no? That kind of even you take any Padartha and the actual things which are tied to that Padartha also, then it is all infinite. There is no limit. We can't even fathom how many things are there. Because we don't know how many galaxies are there. You can't even count the stars. And we don't know if you are seeing all the stars. If each star is a sun, and some of the stars are much more larger than the sun that is in the Milky Way galaxy. So we don't know how many galaxies are there, in that how many planets are there, in which planets what life form is there, how much of life form is there, there is no way to know. Even after many million years, I don't think human race will be able to fathom it because we have our own limitations. We are so minuscule in the whole scheme of things. Therefore, if you start measuring, delineating, delimiting Padarthas, there is no end. Therefore, Ananta, so if you take Brahma and as a, as a matra, as a measure to find, delimit all that is there, it is Ananta Matra. It just goes on and on. Or you can say there is no, nothing to delimit it. It is just there, all the, it, there is nothing else. Therefore, Anantaha. There is no Antavatvam means there has to be something to limit it. So there is no delimiting. Space also itself is supported by Brahma. So Brahman has to be beyond space. So spatially limiting is not possible because both sides of that limiting factor is Brahman. Therefore, Ananta Yasya Saha Anantamat. So it is both Amatra and Anantamatra. Anoraniyan Mahato Mahiyan. It is the smallest of the smallest. Largest of the largest. It is without any delineating, delimiting. And at the same time, it is infinite in the terms of delimiting or delineating. Because all that can be perceived is Brahman. And Brahman is none of those. is away from it. In fact, all those, the manifold things are mithya. Because they have their no existence on their own. So Atma is, Brahma Vastu is, Turiya is beyond space, it's beyond time and it is beyond Vastu objects of perception. Therefore, Amatraha Anantamatrascha Dvaitasya Upashamaha Shivaha so this Ananta Matra Bhashikara says, Na Yetavatvam Asya Parichetum Shakyate. There is no Yetavatvam. There is no, you can't say it is only of this size, this scale. And then say this much is Atma. Beyond that, it is something else. No, there is nothing to delimit it. That's what it means. Sarvadvaita Upashamatva Deva Shivaha. Dvaitasya Upashamaha Tasmat Shivaha. So here in Karika, everything is given as Visheshna. Amatraha, Anantamatraha, Dvaitasya Upashamaha, Shivaha, Omkaraha, all are Pariyaya. 
ಪರ್ಯಾಯ ಪದ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ದಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಮಾತ್ರ ಈಸ್ ಓಂಕಾರ ಈಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಈಸ್ ಅನಂತ ಮಾತ್ರ ಈಸ್ ದ್ವೈತಸ್ಯೋಪಶಮ ಈಸ್ ಶಿವ ಈಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಈಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಈಚ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಜೆಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆರ್ ಈಚ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿವೀಲಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಅಮಾತ್ರ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಮಾತ್ರ ಈಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಲುಕ್ ಅಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಮಾತ್ರ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಒನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಮೆಷರಬಲ್ ಇಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅನಂತ ಮಾತ್ರ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ಫೈನೈಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ರಿಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ದ್ವೈತಸ್ಯ ಉಪಶಮ ದ್ವೈತ ಉಪಶಮ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ದ್ರಷ್ಟ ನಾಟ್ ದೃಶ್ಯಂ ದ ಮೊಮೆಂಟ್ ಯು ಸೇ ದೃಶ್ಯ ಪದಾರ್ಥ ದೆನ್ ತ್ರಿಪುಟಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ತ್ರಿದೃಶ್ಯಂ ದ್ರಷ್ಟ ದೃಶ್ಯಂ ದರ್ಶನ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಪ್ರಮಾತ ಪ್ರಮೇಯ ತ್ರಿಪುಟಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ದ ಮೊಮೆಂಟ್ ಯು ಸೇ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರಮೇಯ ಬಟ್ ಪ್ರಮಾತ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ವತಂತ್ರ ಸ್ವತಂತ್ರ ಕರ್ತ ಪಾಣಿ ಸೂತ್ರ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಸೊ but when you say karma kartuhu ipsita tamam karma the karma means karta has to be there without linking a karta a karma can't be stated kartuhu ipsita tamam karma and remaining karanam sampradanam and all that apadanam all those things are around the karta the only independent is karta swatantra so that only is dvaita upashamaha dvaita can go only in the karta swarupa kartr swarupa only can be advayam anything which is drishyam cannot make it advayam so dvaita upashama has to happen only in atma swarupa if it if it can happen so anything which is drishyam means it is mithya that is what that entire next chapter is going to talk about we'll come to that dvaita upashama tasmat shiva so it is eternal peace mangalam shantam anandam because there is nothing else it is calm there is nothing to disturb it it is just like the ocean still ocean deep inside the ocean if you are there in a ship there is a total silence stillness that is because there is nothing else there as though okay so here truly there is nothing else so it is shiva ha where all the sarva samsara and nivritti has taken place it is omkara ha so we saw that um, anartha atmaka the tikakara anand giri writes here anartha atmaka ದ್ವೈತ ಸಂಸ್ಪರ್ಶ ಅಭಾವಾತ್ ಅಪ್ರತಿಬಂಧೇನ ಪರಮಾನಂದತ್ವ ತಸ್ಮಿನ್ ಆವಿರ್ಭವತಿ ಅಭಿಪ್ರೇತ್ಯ ಆಹ ಸರ್ವೈತೋಪಶಮಾತ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಆವಿರ್ಭವನ ವಿ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಸ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ವರೂಪಾನಂದ ಇಟ್ ಡಸೆಂಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಅನರ್ ಸೊ ಓಕೆ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಜೀವ ಪರ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೇ ಸೋ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಅನರ್ಥಾತ್ಮಕ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ were making you lighter here and there as a samsari you were running around the dvaita vishayas and that was giving you all kinds of emotions which now resolve or sublimates or subsides however you want to say that is upashama ha that upashama once it is happened then your swarupa which is paramananda is available all the time therefore avirbhavati means it is available to you therefore shiva 
ओंकार यथाव्याख्या मनना मुनि मुनि परमार्थिंग the paramartha tattva therefore that person is muni na itaraha janaha shastra vidapi even when somebody has gone to sanskrit college and uh, take part in vidvat sadhas <coughs> and talk about all upanishads all nyaya tarka nyaya and all that if this jnanam is not there Surupa Siddhi is not there. Then you can't call that person Muni. That person may be can be called as Pandita. That's fine. But there also Panda means Brahma Jnana is how Acharya takes in many contexts. But Shastra Jnana, you know, you can call Pandita, but you can't call as Muni he because truly a Muni is one who has a Paramartha Tattva Jnana. Shastra Vidha Api. तत्व मुख्य प्रणवद्वारेण स्वप्नाषिण अंतस्थानुभा in uh, this advaita sharada they have given it below so uh, we are reading the verses first and then giving the connection anyway nyate dvaitam na vidyate iti uktam where in this karika itself nyate dvaitam na vidyate nyate advaita advaite gnyate so this omkara pranava or turiya vastu and how it is sarvam once it is understood cognized dvaitam na vidyate you can't see a second thing the division is resolved you can see differences but not division you can see the jagat but not as separate from you separate from brahmastu this you means brahmastu not you as an individual nyate dvaitam na vidyate there is no dvaita dvitva bhava is not there iti uktam and there is a vakyam also ekam eva advitiyam so ekam eva advitiyam so this three things ekam eva 
sajatiy vijatiy swagata beda rahitatvam is how this is explained by bashigara in chandogya so there is no sajatiy beda there is no there is no there is no jati at all of brahman so there is no sajatiy beda there is no vijatiy beda there is nothing other than brahman and brahman is not with parts it's not sagunam therefore there is no swagata beda therefore ekameva advitiyam ityadi shrutibhya there are many shrutis like that which talk about this abheda swarupa nyate dvaitam na vidyate iti agama matram tat so this what is agama matram here you have to understand the context of this vaitatya he is going to say through reasoning you can establish that what you see as dvaitam is mithya so the advai the dvaitasya mithyatvam has been established by shruti through apaurusheya vakya nyate dvaitam na vidyate iti karika also ekameva advitiyam iti shruti also and there are many vakyas dvaita is mithya has been presented by many vakyas let's see if tika gara gives this adipada yatra hi dvaitam iva bhavati okay so he has given again he says ityadi shruti hi now we can add more like that but let's just take ekameva advitiyam yatra hi dvaitam iva bhavati so this dvaitasya mithyatvam shruti choditam okay shrutiya prakashitam shruti already has told that so when there is a shruti pramanya buddhi you can recognize just from shruti vakya that dvaitam is asatyam and it also reveals how it is so by showing what is brahma vastu now the question is can we arrive at it only through reason nyayena therefore bashigara introduces this saying that agama matram tat it is only through shruti vakya so far it has been stated tatra upapatya api dvaitasya vaithatyam shakyate avadharayitum iti dvitiyam prakaranam aarabhyate upapatya yuktiya upapatti means yukti reasoning by just a logical reasoning itself dvaitasya vaithatyam avadharayitum shakyate the dualities vitata what is seen as dual is not necessarily dualistic that's all so that there is a distortion in our understanding is all that's why he, he the karika gara uses the word vaitatyam he doesn't even say asatyam or mithyatvam whatever he says vaitatyam so when you are doesn't it doesn't stay its ground that it is dvaitam it is shaky it doesn't stand its ground dvaita dvaita bhavam once you look at it it is you will find that it shakes it is not firmly rooted therefore vaithatyam vitatha it's probably not dvaitam can be understood through reason after that shruti that is why shruti matas tarko anusandhi yata this tarka is just assisting shruti therefore agama matram upapatya api vaitatyam avadharayitam just to assimilate shruti vakya that all that is here is brahman you can also use reasoning to understand that this dvaita bhava is shaky we have to 
we have to look at it like that because what is pramana vyavahara cannot be proved or disproved by other pramanas so this anumana artapatti and all that are pramanas which are other than shruti vakya shabda pramana itself being a pramana what is revealed by shruti cannot be proved or disproved by other means of knowledge so this nyaya itself if it can arrive at atma is brahman and advayam then you don't need shruti but it is not arrivable what can these the reasoning give is for you to assimilate the shruti vakya a certain support can be provided that's why in sadhana panchakam acharya says shruti matas tarko nu sandhiyatam dustarkat suviramyatam shruti matas tarko nu sandhiyatam don't just get into some brutal logic and then keep arguing about some things It doesn't help it's like you know you this other if you go and argue with people who belong to some of the other sampradayas ye visishta advaiti ar advaiti ar even other religious people they have emotional commitment <clears throat> emotional commitment to a certain thing and with that emotional commitment they just try they come in just to thinking that they are going to disprove you they will say how can there be maya how can you say sada sadbhyam anirvachaniyam there cannot be maya something which is sada sadbhyam anirvachaniyam you have to say either it is sat or something like that then even if you try to explain it is not possible to make them understand because their commitment is not to learn the commitment is to disprove you because they are emotionally committed to somebody who says that shankara is a is a bauddha he just came to destroy veda and all that so you are already prejudiced in how you are looking at see when someone with shraddha and along with you know all kinds of commitment and prayer knowledge comes and listens to vedanta that person it himself or herself takes years and sometimes uh, many births to gain this knowledge with all the shraddha and all that now going and arguing with somebody on the internet or you know something and then assuming that that person will understand you know itself is flawed only thing you can do is at least to make them see the fallacy of their argument a little bit that's what when when madana mishra and all these people argued their beliefs were shaken so and then okay then they probably opened up saying okay i yeah i agree that maybe i am i might be wrong so that much you can do probably with a few but you know going and arguing and all that the starka giving reasoning and trying to prove one's point of view it's all beyond a certain threshold it's also another form of samsara only so you have to come out of it because it doesn't help even person who has gained the jnanam also it is not worth going and arguing then what to talk of people who are still pursuing so if you are still pursuing this knowledge then going and arguing that advaita only is true and all that is not worth it it's not going to be beneficial at all it's not going to help anyone so this tarka where is can be used this if i am not able to assimilate this knowledge there are badas in the way i understand when someone says how can a maya be sada sadhya manirvachaniyam and then i myself am confused then the reasoning and other things for manana is important because i gain for me to gain increasing clarity i can use that 
that is what is called supporting reasoning so here also upapatyapi dvaitasya vaitathyam shakyate avadharayitum so even though shruti vakya is the pramana here but the fact that this world dvaitam is not firmly rooted it doesn't stand its ground it can't be established that dvaitam is ultimate truth using reasoning it is possible to explore this for that dvitiyam prakaranam aarabhyate the second chapter is now started vaitathyam sarvabhavanam swapna ahurmani shinah antastana tu bhavanam samrutatvena hetuna sarvabhavanam vaitathyam swapne swapne in the dream whatever exists sarvabhava all that exists in swapna they are vitatha they are not truly what they are iti manishinah ahu manisha means want generally there is liking but manisha also means mind and manishinah the one who possess buddhi buddhiman or manishinah so here bhashyakara will call that as pramana kushalaha people who can employ means to understand things so pramana means doesn't necessarily mean shabda pramana here pramana kushalaha means people who are scientists are also pramana kushalaha they use certain instruments to understand what exists so the people who are intelligent and who can employ reasoning and other instruments to understand the ways of things they also say that what you see in dream are not necessarily what it actually exists antastanaattu bhavanam samrutatvena hetuna for two reasons one because these things what you see in the dream are inside your own mind because also because they can't be truth if they are true things they can't exist in such a small space samrutatvena in a short time and small space which is inside your body you can't experience all that you are experiencing as dream therefore what is seen in the dream can't be true now the question is this is straight forward thing right so first of all understand this why is karika gara talking about this because this upanishad is talking about states of experience wake and dream and deep sleep dream is a wonderful state which can help us understand many things because there is a context that upanishad is talking about dream karika gara takes the dream as a key thing to explain many stuff even the alata shanti kitta spandana he is going to talk in the fourth chapter is also about how all that is here is only chit natana chit sabha it is all within this just like the dream manifests the world for you so too is the waken okay so that is one now also what do people argue when they don't agree with advaita is drishyatvat jagat satyam so their logic is because the world is seen it is tangibly seen how can you say it is mithya so to dismiss that again 
karika kara uses the dream because there also there is drishyatvam and drishyatvat swapna is mithya and drishyatvat the vyavaharika satyam api mithya pratibhasika satyam like the snake on the rope is mithya yes because ज्ञाते द्वैतम न विद्यते वंस योर रोप इज अंडरस्टूड स्नेक इज नॉट देयर सो प्रातिभासिक सत्यम इज गॉन देयर इज नो प्रॉब्लम हाउ अबाउट व्यावहारिक सत्यम व्हिच इज रोप व्हाट इज रोप रोप कंसिस्ट ऑफ स्ट्रिंग्स सो इज रोप सत्यम नो ओनली स्ट्रिंग्स आर सत्यम नो रोप इज गॉन जस्ट लाइक द स्नेक वाज गॉन rope is also gone no string is string satyam only fibers are satyam we have seen this many times then string also is gone jnate dvaitam na vidyate drishyam it's a drishtam but when during analysis व्यावहारिक सत्यम आलो इट्स नॉट सत्यम विततथा इट इज विततथा विततथा यू सी दैट इट इज नॉट रोप फर्स्ट इट वाज स्नेक विततथा इट इज नो इट इज रोप नो इज इट रोप नो इट इज कंटेन स्ट्रिंग्स सो रोप इज विततथा now is it string it is fibers again string is vitatha is it fiber no it is atoms so fiber is vitatha so this vaitatyatvam is there in any vyavaharika satya vastu also it's all reasoning what we are now doing is only it's not shruti vakya therefore upapatya api dvaitasya vaitatyam shakyate avadarayitum द्वितीय प्रकरण आरभ्यते वैतत्यमितादीना भाव वैतत्यम असत्यम 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 न सत्य इट्स नॉट तुच्छम इट इज विततथा वैतथ्यम कस्य सर्वेशां बाह्याध्यासिका भाव पदार्थान स्वपने स्वप्ने उपलभ्यम असत्यम बाह्य आध्यात्मिका भाव भाव पदार्थ भाव मीन पदार्थ थिंग्स विच आर सीन इन स्वप्न एस बाह्य अंड आध्यात्मिका इन स्वप्न आलो ऐ एम देर मै मैंड इज देर I mean, as an entity within the chopna, I have a mind and I am acting. I have emotion, <clears throat> even for and things which are happening in chopna, I have emotional reaction. <clears throat> Therefore, adhyatmika is there in chopna also. And then there is bahiyatvam, because in chopna I am seeing mountains, I am seeing rivers, I am seeing a sun, moon, all that. But for all of them, including adhyatmika and bahya padartha, even though there is upalabhyamanatvam, kathayanti, what? Manishina ha pramana kushala ha asatyatvam kathayanti. People who are given to analyze things. who are scientists who are capable they say these are not real they don't stand as truth why why tatye hetu maha for what reason hetu hetu you have to say because you are making a statement hypothesis that they are not true on what basis what is the hetu antastanat that is a hetu antastatvam because they are inside since they are inside 
they are vitata but question will be inside doesn't mean it has to be vitata first let us understand what is antasthanam antaha sharirasya madhye sthanam yesham so whatever things you are seeing in the dream they are inside your body only inside your mind basically tatrahi bhavaha upalabhyante parvatah stadaya bashagara takes some really big ones which can't re- can be inside the body parvatah hasti parvatah stadaya hasti means elephant big elephant and the mountain na bahihi sharirat tasya tatra sharira madhye bhavah they exist within the body not outside the body tasmat na vitatha bhavitum arhat ke vitatha bhavitum arhanti they can't be true nanu apavaraka adi antarupa antaha upalabhyamane hi gatadi vihi anaikantikah hetu ityashankya ah this hetu can't be anaikantika means it has to the hetu cannot have a vyapti which is outside of what is to so there is what is called as ati vyapti so if you say antasthana <coughs> antasthana bhavah asatyam bhavana masatyam ant so whatever is inside has to be asatyam means everything which is inside has to be asatyam however a part within a cloth or some covering gatadi bihi apavarakaadi antaha apavaraka some kind of a enclosure it can be a room it can be a cloth it can be whatever upalabhya manehi gatadi bihi if the there is a part which is inside but it is not asatyam it exists so just because you are saying something is inside the body doesn't necessarily mean it has to be asatyam that can be a question therefore there is another hetu samvridatvena antasthanam samvridatvena hetu na antaha samvritasthanat ityartaha samvridasthana antaha a small enclosure which is too small what is the too small enclosure nahi antaha samrute deha antaha nadishu parvata hastyadinam sambhavah asti in the dream the person is in the nadi he is within the brain in the nadi is where that whole dream experience is taking place the nadi is what is more a, it's like an imaginary flow of energy whatever that's what is an adi right ida pingala and all that <clears throat> it's an energy um a longitudinal energy line in the body or even if you take it as a nerve still it is so small where you can't have a mountain or elephant therefore sa anta samrute dehantaha nadishu parvata hastyadinam sambhavah asti therefore samvridatvena antasthana hetuna so he is trying to establish that first the, he has to establish that what is seen in the dream are not true that is what he is trying to establish now that has been established then what is the question it's not we are not trying to prove what is dream what is inside the dream and all that everybody knows that but here you have to understand what the acharyas are trying to prove here is just because something is seen doesn't mean it is true that's all now to establish that yes to first est- they have to first establish that what is seen in the dream is not true there itself is somebody question says some puru bakshi will come and say how can you say it is not true maybe they are going and looking at the real elephant and coming back so that kind of an argument also they put so you have to establish first that no it is not true it is only uh, which uh, asatyam and then asatyam they, despite it being drishtam now he stretches it and say drishyatvat 
that is asatte therefore what is drishyam in vekan also can be asat okay in fact not even can be it is asat is how he is established let's see that but let's move now nahi antaha sam so you have to understand that he has is now trying to prove that what is seen in the dream is asatyam so that's where he is saying it can't be see otherwise it will look funny we all know dream is just uh, from your memory and mind so why are we trying to unnecessarily prove that there is no elephant inside your head everybody knows that right but just to set the stage to say that drishyam but still it is asatyam nahi antaha samrute deha antar nadishu parvata hastyadinam sambhava asti nahi deve parvata asti the mountain cannot be inside the body so it is only seen in your dream but there is no real mountain inside your body okay so let's look at the bhashya and then come to adi adirghatvat okay because uh, that is a connection swapna drishyanam bhavanam antaha samrutasta samrutasthanam iti etat asiddham yasmat प्रोच्येश सुप्त सुप्ता उदक्षु सपनान पश्यन निवे दृश्यते इति एतद् आशंक्य आह देयर कैन बी वन क्वेश्चन हाउ आर यू सेइंग द स्पेस इनसाइड योर माइंड इज वेरी स्मॉल मे बी योर एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ स्पेस इन द ड्रीम स्टेट इज लार्जर like in the waken you are seeing so much of space maybe in the dream also so much of space is really seen swapna drishyanam bhavanam antas samrutha sthanam iti etat asiddham what you see in swapna the existence which is seen in the dream swapna drishyanam bhavanam the the things as that that is seen as existing in your dream अंत समृत स्थान सो इट इज ओनली इन दट लिमिटेड स्पेस विथिन युअर नाडी इज वेर यू आर सीइंग दट इतद असिद्ध हव आर यू सेइंग दट वाट इज युअर बेसिस टू से दट द स्पेस दट अ पर्सन सीस इन द ड्रीम इज वाट इज इन सैड इज नाडी ओनली दट मच मे बी इज सीइंग द एंटर स्पेस दट यू सी इन द वेकन दट सेम स्पेस इज प्रॉब्ली पर्सिव इन ड्रीम आलो because he gives an example esmat prachyesh suptaha somebody who is seeing in sleeping in the east udakshu sopnan pasyan nivadrishyate the person is seeing the northern india okay eastern india say in kolkata somewhere somebody is sleeping the swapna happens in northern india badrinath or kedarnath ृष्य प्रतिबुद्धश्च वै सर्व तस्श न विद्यते अदीर्घत्वात् कालस्य इफ इवन इफ द स्पेस इज देयर इन द ड्रीम एज मच एज इट इज देयर इन द वेकन स्टिल इन द ड्रीम द पर्सन डजन हैव दैट मच टाइम टू गो फ्रॉम कोलकाता टू बद्रीनाथ विद इन दैट 5 मिनट्स 10 मिनट्स स्लीप even if the space is there where is time adirghatva cha kalasya gatva dehan na pasyati dehat gatva na pasyati gatva he can't go and see pratibuddhascha vai sarvas sarvah tasmin deshena vidyate whatever you see as you wake up what you say had seen in the dream you are not seeing when you wake up because you are still in the same place where you slept again like i said these are basics okay we all know that but because we are in there is an analysis being done 
elaborately so that a point is sought to be established. Okay. So these are restatements of things that even people in those times they would have known. Nobody thinks that I am dreaming and actually in the dream I went to Kashi. I actually went to Kashi and came. Even in those days, I in Shankara's days, when this bar Gaudapada's days, the people wouldn't have been thinking that they really went. It is just to strongly establish it. This is taken up. So we have to look at it as just an anuvada of what people already know. Okay. Otherwise, you will say, what is this? As though a great discussion, we are doing this. So, let's just look at it. Na dehad bahihi deshantaram gatva soknan pashyati. So, the, the person doesn't come out of the body and go. And, see, you have to also understand there were these things as parakaya pravesha and all that in those days. See, we don't even know that kind of a science. Was it true or was it more mysticism? There are stories, right? Even as recently as uh, Patinattar and uh, Sadashiva Brahmendra and all that, we keep hearing about this Parakaya Pravesha stories. And uh, Shankara Vijay Makaranda talks about how Acharya himself did Parakaya Pravesha into some uh, king's body and after the first day of argument with Mandara Mishra and all that, right? First day or whatever, number of day after when he was almost about to win, then Madhara Mishra's wife came and told that you should experience a Grastha's life. Then he went into a king's body and those kind of things. So there are there are things which also could make could have made people to debate this. Correct? Now, if Parakaya Pravesha was possible or is possible, then some of these questions actually become more meaningful. So people may question, do I really come out of the body during dream or is it only happening within the mind? That question can be asked if Parakaya Pravesha was possible, right? So, so all those things are also probably in the context when these things are being sp spoken about. And there is no way for us to dismiss whether Parakaya Pravesha is possible or not. Yeah, because we don't know. Just because we don't know doesn't mean it is not possible. Okay. So it has some logical backing to why they say that but in fact deha vetrikta atma with along with sukshma sarira and all that can come out of the body itself is a shraddha only for us right none of us have witnessed coming out of this body and going somewhere consciously right? so these kind of things are at this time shraddha but for yogis it is said they can do all this so and that is that also we have to keep in context when people are asking questions like otherwise this will look like you know very unreasonable question. Uh, so, but then if the context is there where you can go out of the body, then it's not a very unreasonable question. Right? So na dehad bahir deshantaram gatva sopnan bashyati yasmati suptamatraha yeva deha deshadi yojana shatantari de. Masamatra prapte deshe sopnan bashin niva drishya de Nachata desha prapte he agamanasicha dirga kalahasti Ataha adirga twacha kalasya naswapna drike desha and rangachadi. So Bashigara explains this adirga twacha kalasya gatwa deha te napashati. It's not that the person goes out of the body and sees because the time is less so he explains yes mate sukta matra hayeva as soon as somebody has slept deha desha di deha desha wherever this body was suppose i sleep in you know uh, amba samudram so from amba samudram to go to hardwar it is like some 2400 kilometers or something, right? So here he says, Deha Desha De, Yojana Shatantari De, one Yojana is some 8 or 9 miles, is what I hear. So four Koshas, one Kosha is 2 miles, 2 point some miles. And uh, so that means some 8 to 9 miles is one Yojana. And 900 Yojanas means some 900, 800 to 900 miles so about 1600 kilometers let's take 
So from Amba Samudram to let's say going to Ujjain. Now to go to Ujjain from the place where I slept, Deha Deshati, Yojana Shatantarite, to go to Ujjain in those days when you had to only walk. Masamatra Prapye Deshe. Just to walk and go to Ujjain. Even today, if you have to go by flight also, to go to Ujjain from Amba Samudram will easily take at least half a day. You have to go to Tutukudi, take a flight to Chennai, from Chennai to probably Indore, and Indore you have to take a car to go to Ujjain. By the time you reach, it will be some eight hours. Your fastest may be six hours. Even then, person sleeping in Amba Samudram, within Kshana, he goes to Ujjain. Right? Deha desha dyojana shatantarite masamatra prapte deshe swapnan bashyan nivadrishyade. Nachata desha prapte he agamanasya cha dirga galaha asti. Not only he has to go to Ujjain, but he also wakes up in 10 minutes. So he has to wear, not in Ujjain, but in Amba Samudram only. That means he has to go and come back also within those 10 minutes. Therefore, Ataha Adirgatva Chakalasya Na Swapna Deshantar Swapna Dirkha Dreshantaranga Chati. So you can establish that the person is not actually going. So like I said, these kind of things you can even talk about only if you accept the fact that you can physically go without this physical body. Only with Sukshma Sharira, if the person can go, then arguments like this can be advanced. So it makes us believe that whether they did Parakai Pravesha or not, at least they probably believed in it Okay, in those days that you can come out of this body in the sleep and go to a place. Is how, because if you don't believe that this kind of an argument itself, in today's Western context, will a person even ask this kind of a question, right? Because you don't trust that you can be with the Sukshma Sharira, come out of this body and go elsewhere. If that's not possible, then you won't ask this question. But here, with all those things there, so there is a question whether he's really going and coming or he's not going. Okay, that argument is advanced and discussed. Kincha, Pratibuddhascha vai sarvaha swapna drikke, swapna darshana deshe na vidya de. Okay, so swapna kincha, Pratibuddhascha vai sarvaha, whatever he has seen is also not there in this place where the swapna darshanam happened. In Amba Samudram, you don't see all those Vishwanatha Mandirs or Ujjain Mahakaleshwar. I am just rushing because we are already past the time. I am just rushing because we are already past Not also he wakes up at, we will see these things in the next class again, but quickly I will just finish this paragraph. So he doesn't get up in the new place. He doesn't get up, wake up in Ujjain also. So Nachayata Dasti. Ratra Suttaha Ahani Iva Bhavan Pashyati. Bahubihi Sangataha Bhavati Yaischa Sangataha Saha Tair Grihyate Nacha Grihyate Grihita Schete Swam Adya Tatra Upalabdavantaha Vayam Iti Bruyuhu Nacha Yeta Dasti. Okay. You may even say that this dream body went to Ujjain and came back. It really went to Sukshma Sarira went to Mahakaleshwar and then came back within two minutes, you can say, fine. But suppose in your dream you met somebody. Suppose you met your uncle in Ujjain, in your dream. And next day you meet the same uncle and say, that person will tell you, oh, just now I met you in Ujjain, right? But he doesn't say that. So he's advancing this kind of an argument. To say that, okay, there at least connection, see, you, even if you say that the Sukhma Sarira went to Ujjain, but if it had, you can say, I went, it really went and saw the temple and came, that you can't contest. But if it had met the person truly, if that was also true, then that person also, other person also should recognize that that person saw you, but that is not happening. Tasman na deshantaram gachari sopne. Therefore, what you are seeing in sopna, is not true. Okay. So big thing is established now. What is, why this had to be done? Like I said, because just because it is seen, 
So we have to understand that. Drishyam, whatever Ujjain was seen, Mahakalesha, Mahakal was seen, people were seen, doesn't mean that they are all Satyam. So Satyatvam is not established by them being seen. Drishyatvat cannot be an argument to say that they exist, but in fact, he goes on to say that Drishyatvat it is Asatyam. Because the drish, drashta is the is necessary for drishyam. And the drish, drishyam is not necessary for the drashta, for its surupa. Because Swayan Jyoti, this Antar Jyoti Brahmanam also is quoted later. Okay, we are already well past the time. Om, Pur Namada, Pur Namidam, Pur Nad, Pur Namudachate, Pur Nasya, Pur Namadaya, Pur Nameva Vasishate. Om Shanti 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 Arihi Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Arihi Om